is Daniel Jean. Shout out to Urban News. Dope. Okay, Dow. He, we are here with the man of the hour, Mr. DJ Sus One. First of all, what made you want to start this this movie theater action, or even you just you, you featuring Star Wars tonight, right? Yeah. So made you want to? You know, so crazy. I, I'm a big fan of movies. This is what I do naturally with my friends. We have like a text, um, a joint text feed, a joint text, and we all text each other talking about the new trailers that we saw, the new movies that's coming out. Um, that's why my whole thing is called the feature presentation because I also say I'm making a movie in those clubs and all that. So I'm just bringing what I love to um, to the industry, bringing my celebrity friends and my industry friends and influencers to just do what I'm doing with my friends anyway and watching movies I want to see. I have a love for movies. So what do you think? What movie was the best one that came out this year? The end of the I year came out now? this year? See, I, still, I missed a lot of movies this year, though, because I've been working hard. But um, whew, there was been a lot. <sighs> That's a tough one. I don't know. There's a few movies I still got to catch. Uh -huh. but you know what, two movies? And I'm a big horror fan, too. Oh. So, um, I think I want to answer that movie after, I want to answer that question after I see this movie, Star Wars. Okay, so since you can't do the movies, what's your favorite album that came out this year? Yo, you're asking some tough questions right now, yo. Yeah, I know, but there's so many good albums that came out this year. The best album that came out this year. That's another question I want to think about before I answer. Yo, nah, nah, you ain't you like, giving me nothing. My celebrity friends is watching this. I don't want to answer the right. I don't want to write. I got to make sure I answer right. All right, well, I'm going to let you know my mom was Jim Jones because I wasn't expecting that heat. Jim Jones' album was tough. Jim Jones' album was tough. Shout out to Harlem. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I got one last question. Me being a media personality and you do personality as well, what, do you, what is your, kind of your favorite role, DJ or interviewing and kind of having, you know, talking on, your side of the, talking on the other side of the mic? My first love is DJing, but I love both. I love being able to um, interview my heroes and, finding out a different sides to them and asking questions that that would um, you know get the listener engaged that they might not be thinking about them you know what I'm saying but DJing is my first love man the whole reason I'm even interviewing people is because I'm D I, I was DJing in my father's basement when I grew up and listening to Ron G Kid Capri and um, you know Clue and Flex and all these guys and that's my first love always <laughs> From Black Ink Crew. First of all, I gotta ask, you look good. You what's, your, what's the diet plan? I feel like I'm gaining weight and you you losing it. What's going on? A lot of seafood, a lot of greens, and a lot of ramen lately. Ramen isn't ramen a lot of salt though? Nah, it depends on how it's made. When it's homemade, it's not too salty. Well, rumor has it is though that you have been cozied up. Winter time, you've been cuffing. How's that been treating you? I've been eating a lot of ramen. <laughs> So you, you're not in love, you ain't love yet. Love season is coming, February. Eating a whole lot of ramen. All right, well, that's what's up. So um, what you what you dripping in right now? We got we to gotta talk about the fit. Louis Vuitton, fair God. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Cartier. Okay, fit it. I see you, I see you. Mm -hmm. So what can we expect for Black Ink Crew this season? A different teddy. Was yeah. that more calm, more relaxing? You seem it's different. It's a different teddy. This is my season. That's your season? Yeah, my season? All right, we asking everybody this. What's your favorite film from this year? My favorite film from this year, ah, Joker. Joker? That was a good one. Joker. Well, thank you, Rocka, with Urban News. I appreciate it. Yo, what up? It's your boy Teddy Rux from Black and Crew, and shout out to Urban News. Love. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's recording me right now. Yeah, but y'all yeah. already know he's, this is a comedian right here, Mr. Daniel himself. You got a lot of viral videos out right now. Yeah. 
How can I can I go viral with you? Yeah, hell yeah. As long as you down to do whatever, we'll do it. Okay, I don't like that. Can you rephrase that? If you don't mind getting arrested, we could do a video right now. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So how can how can we go viral with you? Give me an example. We could start a big fight right here in the movie theater. And I'll just go viral. So how did you gain your followers? A lot of people will like to know that. I've done. I've been on the news so many times. I fool a lot of people with these videos. I get into people's feelings. And I like. I, yeah, people are upset watching these videos. They they don't know if it's real or not. So that's been working for me. What was your most craziest video? Um, the craziest one is the school bus. Now me throwing the, uh, my friend four three giant off the school bus. I I thought me throwing my friend in the water fountain was the craziest one, but I guess I topped it. <laughs> videos how was it backstage like the BT well not backstage because y'all doing it live but how was it like BTS like how are y'all like practicing this we go over it but we do it so many times that it's so it's normal it's, it's like regular fighting in front of 50 to 100 or 200 strangers is like normal to us and what's your plans for 2020 are you still gonna be going viral of course um there's so many videos I ain't do yet that's been since 2018 I ain't do yet and I have a reality show we, we're, we're, at, we're actually editing right now I love it. You are super humble. It was great speaking with you. I can't wait to see what you do. And I want to be in your next gig. So. Oh, well, hit me up. As long as you're not, get, get your bell ready money. And, and we're ready to do this. <laughs> you are crazy. Thank you so much for speaking with Urban News. I appreciate it. I'm here with Mappy Violinist, right? Yes. So what brings you out tonight for the Star Wars um, movie screening? Excuse me. Sorry. What brings you out tonight for the, the movie screening? Uh, I'm really excited because that's my favorite movie. Really? for Yeah, of all time. And uh, yeah, so I was in, I was invited, and I'm excited because I'm from Paris. I'm in the city, sometimes to uh, to work. I'm a hip hop violinist, so I'm traveling a lot. So I was really excited because I was there when it was uh, yeah. Nice. So I love the outfit that you're wearing today. What was the inspiration? Oh, uh, just I'm just being myself. <laughs> That's my favorite color, gold, and yeah, so I just want to be myself. I love the gray. Let's get into the details. It's beautiful. So what can we expect for you in 2020? Uh, I'm releasing my first original album, and I'm also going to tour like a lot uh, in the country and also in the Caribbean. <laughs> well, can, I can't wait to see you move on. And what's the name? Do you have a, a title for the album yet? Sorry? Do you have a title for the album yet? Not for the album, but I already have two singles out, like Dreams and Tropsico. Nice. Well, thank you so much for speaking with Urban News. My brother. Everybody. All right. Leo, hey. Leo Robinson. This familiar faces. We spoke last year at the charity event, and you was you was playing in your Timberlands, but it's all right. Well, congratulations to you and your partnership. Um, how was that? How did that come about? My partnership with with your sneaker company that you well not just sneaker company, but you just collaborated with the sneaker company. So how does that feel now to be a part of that brand? Uh, I'm not a part of the brand, but it's always good marketing and and the businesses reaching out to me and, and me helping the um, Puma. And all the companies right now, you know, it's, it's always a blessing. So, what do you expect? What can we expect from you in 2020? Now that you just you are you blowing up now? You're not gonna be in New York no more. Oh, I'm just climbing, you know, s small ladders. You know, it's been a long grind. It's been nine years. So every year, I just hope to be climbing and climbing the ladder every year. You know, 
I don't think I'm blowing up. I just think I'm working very, very, very hard. And 2020, you can expect a lot more work. That's all, more work. It's more work to be done. Yes, I appreciate it. Well, I hope I see you in the big screen soon. You know, I got, I'm got i a big fan of yours, so I got to support you. And thank you again for speaking with Urban News. No problem. Make sure you look out for ABC, the Isaac Wright story, um, February 11th. Shout out to 50 Cent, man. I'll be on that joint. ABC for life. You heard? What's going on, y'all? I'm with the power couple right here, Black Love Itself. First of all, I have to congratulate you, Pat Poole, for speaking with Joe Budden of Love & Hip Hop. I really appreciate that speech. What made you want to, you know, come up? What made you want to grow up and kind of tell Joe, not grow up, but what made you want to tell Joe about himself and kind of be confident and letting him know that you got to be, you know, appropriate when it comes to situations like that? I mean, you try to give your friends the best advice. That's all, man. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just guys chopping it up. We talk about things like that. Just so happened they, they recorded it. That's all. But it's all love. You know that. I, I want to see. I wish the best for them. Appreciate that. And Remy, I just got to say something to you. I seen you in an episode of Queen of, Queen of the South. That's my show right now. And you did a, such an amazing job. Are you going to continue doing acting? Thank you. Um, I would like to. I would like to. I have a couple of things coming up 2020. So it's definitely something that I enjoy. It's fun. That was one of the most fun things that I did. And um, yeah. Acting is definitely one of the stuff, things that I'm doing. Well, I love you guys. Look great in y'all fur. And thank you again. We're speaking with Urban News. Thank you. <laughs> Over beats, baby.